Hey guys, um, so I want to inform you guys on a few things that are happening this week and this month with me. Um, I have an upcoming project actually, me and I'm not going to say who, but anyone who knows me will probably figure it out. We are putting together a little something that's going to be fun. It's, um, I'm actually pretty nervous about it, but I am trying my best to, you know, get it to a good level and I'll actually be able to get clips of it in the progress if, I mean, if you guys want to see that, but you will get a full video of how that plays down on the day when it happens. Um, also this week. And um, there's going to be three videos, this one obviously, and two others, because I've been slacking on my videos lately, so might as well throw in three in one week, right? And um, my channel has hit three, almost 3,000 views, if not 3,000 right now, 3,000 views. Thank you guys so much. I know I can get boring sometimes, but... That's life, you know, but I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching every video I make. I know my last video was a rant, but this one is going to be one as well, and this time I'm, it's going to be on things that really tick me off, because lately there's been a lot, so a better way to express it than, you know, over the internet anonymous, ugh, anonymously saying things about people because they'll never know I'm talking about them unless they're smart and they realize things. Ha. Huh. So the first thing is, is um, well the first two things are school related, but the first thing is my pre-calculus course. Yay! Um, I absolutely hate having pre-calculus in the morning because I get up and I'm just lazy for like the first three periods and I don't want to do math, especially not advanced math. And my math teacher zooms through all of the stuff and I have no time to process it. So it's either he goes too fast or I'm just too slow. But walking to math class first thing in the morning it's brutal you just you just will not understand another thing is my history course world history made a big mistake taking that this year and i transferred in from my old school i was like hey they didn't offer this let's take it here bad idea i am almost failing the course and it pains me every moment of every day to walk in that class. Yeah, it's it's difficult. It's a public exam course, so my final is worth 50% of my entire year. So as long as I get a 50 on that, I'll pass my my course. But I'm I'm struggling, and I mean I did great in Canadian history last year, but it's the fact that I can remember things but not get them down on paper is what's struggling, making me struggle. I just don't like the class. I, I'm not a fan of some of the people in it. They're just, they don't, mm -mm. their vibes, they don't give off the right vibes for me. Oh well. Now, this one really ticks me off. Um. In grade 11 in my school, we have anywhere from 95 to 110 kids, is what the principal told me when I moved into this area. But, um, I have a lot of guys in a lot of my classes, and they stare at me. I walk down the hallway, they just kind of stare at me, and I keep walking. I'm like, what is your deal? You, I've been here for, what, four months, and you still have to stare? 
it, it, it bothers me. It honestly bothers me that, you know, you will, if I'm walking to the front of the class, you'll look at me. You'll stop your conversations and stare at me. Like, just, just stop. I'm just an ordinary girl. I have red hair. Pale complexion. I'm short. You see that all the time. Why is it that when I do something, you have to stare? It's actually really annoying. And if I'm walking with friends, I will bluntly yell out so that they can hear me. Like, what are you staring at? And then they just stare more. Another thing, um, it's really common in my school, but uh, there's this, you know, everybody has that group of smokers. You get, you know, in grade 11s and 12s, or you'll kind of see it more forming. But then when it gets down to the 11s and the grade 9s, it just gets out of hand. Like, I don't see why you think you're going to be so much cooler because you smoke. It is a disgusting habit. And it is filthy. You smell like absolute trash afterwards. And it's, it's just gross. Like, it's not appealing. I mean, some people find it attractive, I mean, that's probably because they do it too, but to a lot of people it's a major turn off, and it is just utterly gross. These next few things kind of go hand in hand together, so I'll just make it into one, but another thing that pisses me off is, you know, when you talk to someone but you guys only talk outside of school, like, if you guys are in school, you just kind of go out of the way and avoid each other, you, you know, pass a smile, like, hey, but you don't actually have a conversation. But when you're outside of school and you're home, text messages are flying, Facebook messages, snaps, like, it happens with me with so many people, they just kind of won't socialize with me in school because they have their own group of friends. And then we'll just kind of talk outside of school. But in a way, though it pisses me off, because, you know, if you're a friend of mine, I'd want you to talk to me whenever you see me. Um, although it pisses me off, it's kind of a good thing as well, because people won't get the wrong hint. Because everyone these days thinks that if you talk to someone, you're on the go with them or something. Because that's always how teenage minds work. But with only talking with you outside of school, I also hate it when people say, Oh my god, let's make plans! Oh, um, next weekend, we're gonna go fishing mm, in the snow, and uh, we're gonna go shopping, and we're gonna McDonald's. Oh my god, McDonald's. No. I hate it when people try to make plans, but they never happen. I mean, it pisses off a lot of people, and it pisses off me. If you're gonna make plans with me, follow through on them, not be like, hey, let's go for McDonald's Friday, and then Friday comes, and you're like, hey, yeah, um, nothing to do this weekend, someone message, and it's like, dude, you want to go to McDonald's with me, stop. It's frustrating, you know, am I not good enough to make, keep plans with, nobody good enough to make plans with, with anyone? I don't know what I'm saying. Oh my god. Um, or when people blow you off for plans. Like, yes, you and I are going shopping Saturday at 3. And then Saturday 2.30 comes and it's like, oh, sorry, I have to help my poor elderly grandmother on my father's uncle's mother's side twice removed from the left clean her garage and they make up a bullshit excuses just to blow off plans with you not cool guys not cool. I don't know if you guys have watched my previous videos but obviously cars zooming past me while I film outside is a very big thing that pisses me off 
But as of right now, if you guys have not heard through my videos, my phone is on the side of me vibrating and making noises every two seconds because people are texting me with random things. My phone is, you know, plugged in and it just, it's going insane. People just can't chill out for like 20 minutes while people film a video. I told you I was filming, stop texting me. Well, I just wasted, I'm not sure how long this video is going to be after editing and stuff, but I just wasted a bunch of your time rambling on about things that piss me off. And if you are a person who falls under... Uh, falls under one of the categories like you only talk to me outside of school or you blow off plans with me or anything like that this may or may not be directed towards you I have certain people in mind when talking about this but don't take it personally at all um but that's pretty much it for my video today guys um this will be uploaded tomorrow, so you won't see this until the day after this is filmed. Oh my god. But, um, there's also gonna be two more this week. As I previously said, as long as Wi-Fi decides to work with me. And, yeah. So, remember to like this video, or maybe dislike it. I don't know how you feel. Whatever you feel when you watch this, you do that. Um, comment below things that piss you off or if you think the things that piss me off are stupid. Uh, if you're excited for having me having three videos this week, comment that too. Um, if you have not already, even though I keep saying it's up here, it's down here, subscribe. Um, if you obviously haven't already and be a part of my vlogs every time I make one. So, until next time, bye.